Good afternoon. Thanks for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue. I'm Susan McCord. Today's topic is, why does my partner always give me backhanded compliments? Now, this is something that happens in relationships where people don't always see it coming. They don't actually even notice it in the beginning because sometimes people are just sort of a little bit sarcastic in how they relay things and some people accept this as it's okay. Personally, I don't like sarcasm in a relationship. I think there's a time and place for it in a comedy show and things like that. But when it comes to a relationship, you want to be sincere with your partner and say nice things that are complimentary. So actions speak louder than words for the most part, but words can really leave scars as well. When someone disguises a compliment with an insult at the end of it, there's something going on within them that they're they're bothered by. So it could be something in their own life that isn't working out well and so they're not in a good place. So they try and squash you. Maybe they're not even aware they're doing it. They're subconsciously doing it. But if you draw attention to it and let them know, at least you're doing something to combat what's happening because you don't want to be living under a roof with somebody who's berating you, even if it's in a very minute, subtle way. They should be giving you a compliment with sincerity. There should never be an underlying message that goes along with it that's not kind. Whatever it is, it might be something going on within them. It could be something that they're unhappy with in their life. And so, you know, the old expression, misery loves company. So they want to bring you down to their level because of how they're feeling. Now, this isn't what a partner should do. If you're feeling bad about something going on, then you should talk to your partner about it and just say, look, this is really bothering me or how come you're doing so great and everything seems to happen to me and I just want to try and get this figured out. But we don't do that. A lot of people don't understand that they're feeling pain about something and they take it out on other people. And this is where a lot of backhanded compliments come from. I'm sure you've heard the compliment that people say, oh, she has such a pretty face, which suggests that that's, she has a pretty face, but everything else is maybe not so great. And that's how a person takes it when, when it's relayed to them that way, rather than just say, oh, you're so pretty, or she's so pretty. And this is kind of underlying backhanded compliment that makes people feel insecure. So when you are delivering something to somebody and you want to give them a compliment, make sure you mean it. If you notice somebody's lost a lot of weight, don't say, holy crap, have you ever lost weight? Just say, wow, you look fantastic. See the difference in how that's delivered? You're talking to them in the presence of how they look and you're giving them a compliment that whatever they've done to make themselves look this way, it's awesome. But so many people don't understand that when they do give a compliment, there's a twisted sort of side to it. One thing you might have heard in your dating experiences is, oh yeah, you're really cool, but you're not my usual type. I've had a couple of interesting ones, like you're really in touch with your male energy, <laughs> which means I'm too strong-minded or I speak too, too boldly or whatever. And there's, a, there's all these kind of things that people will throw out at you think, and they, they think they're being nice, but really there's, there is something that they're suggesting to you. And the problem with this type of, of repetitive situation that's happening in your partnership, it starts to take a toll on your self-esteem. I've seen people talk to others that maybe not in a partnership, just looking at photos or something and say, wow, holy crap, you were so handsome when you were younger. Like, what happened is basically what they want to say, right? I've had people say to me, um, oh, you, you look not bad for a redhead. So it's like how you deliver something in life is how you're going to excel in your life. If you're constantly putting other people down, even if you're not aware of it, but you're look, people are looking at you and giving you strange reaction back when you do speak sometimes, you might want to start thinking about how you are delivering things because it, it's so hurtful when you're pointing out to people the things that maybe they're already insecure about especially if they have lost weight 
that's something obviously that was bothering them. And then you make a comment about, yeah, oh, you look so much better. Things like that are just really, really crushing. And especially if it is towards your partner, someone you're living with and sharing your life with. So sometimes we have to teach people how we want to be treated. I'm sure that if your partner has just started doing this with you, then there's something going on within them that they maybe need to talk about. Maybe there's a problem at work. Maybe they're just feeling they've gained weight. Maybe they're feeling older. All sorts of things can be triggered to, to make them be this way. It doesn't mean you have to accept it and it doesn't mean you have to walk away from it. It means you have to acknowledge it. You need to put a stop to it because you are who you are and you don't need to be squashed by anyone, especially your partner. So whenever you feel that somebody, whether it's a friend, a family member, whatever, is talking down to you or putting you in a place where you walk away from them and you go, wow, what was that? Why do I not feel good about myself right now? You have to take the time to call them on it. So please, if you're living with somebody who talks to you like this and it's becoming a regular habit, you have to stop it. Tell them what they're doing, give them an example, and just say to them, look, I'm really unhappy with being spoken to this way. I need you to respect me. I need you to, if you're going to give me, going to give me a compliment, give it to me without any underlying negative message attached to it. And you do the same because I'm sure when we've all had times in our life where we're not doing great about something, it comes out. There's that little bit of a nastiness that we have inside of all of us. And sometimes we don't realize we're being a little bit of a bitch, you know? So you want to get to the point where you be your best version of yourself at all times. So don't give a backhanded compliment and don't accept one from anybody, especially your partner. Thank you so much for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue today. Please leave your comments, subscribe if you haven't already done so, and any show topics you have, I'd love to hear from you. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.